Welcome to a new episode of Medicine in 3 minutes. As usual, we go straight to the point. The subject is briefly made clear and often illustrated. Let's start. Today's topic is about neuromuscular junction disorders. A neuromuscular junction is a chemical synapse between a motor neuron and a muscle fiber. The junction allows the motor neuron to transmit the signal to the muscle fiber, which causes it to contract. The nerve controls the contraction and the release of the muscle and maintains their tone to prevent their atrophy. Here the presynaptic is the postsynaptic, between them synaptic cleft, and the postsynaptic shows some crest and folding of sarcolemma. The nerve of the central and peripheral neuron system act in conjunction with the muscle. Synaptic transmission at the neuromuscular junction. The action potential really reach the presynaptic termina terminal of the motor neuron. It activates voltage gated calcium channel for calcium to enter the neuron. Calcium ion triggering the fusion of the vesicle with the cell membrane. This results in a release of the neurotransmitter into the synapse cleft. The synapse cleft, the voltage sensitive calcium channel, in the presynaptic, for the postsynaptic, there is an acetylcholine sodium channel, tip nicotine receptor, voltage sensitive sodium channel, and Ma muscle specific kinase channel. Action potential depolarization follows the repolarization. Depolar depolarization is produced by influx of the sodium that sensitive calcium channel. The depolarization leads to heavy influx of sodium, which open voltage sensitive channel, uh, calcium channel, leading to influx of calcium. Synaptobrevin and synaptoxin are employed in exocytosis of acetylcholine. Depolarization comes to voltage sensitive can, uh, uh, calcium channel, leading to the penetration of calcium. Calcium mediates the reaction between acetylcholine and syntaxin by the effect of synaptoblevin. The whole lead to exocytose of acetylcholine. The release of acetylcholine act an acetyl sodium channel tip nicolytic receptor. This lead to the voltage sensitive sodium channel. By acting on sodium, and sodium act in end plate potential. The end plate potential act itself in voltage sensitive sodium channel. Acetylcholine act in acetyl sodium channel tip nicotinic receptor. There is penetration of sodium. Sodium act in end plate potential and the end plate potential act in voltage sensitive sodium channel. The release of acetylcholine is maintained as long as there is a muscle contraction. 
To relax the muscle, acetylcholine must be removed from space. This is the role of acetylcholine esterase. Neuromuscular junction disorder. It could be autoimmune or congenital. If it is autoimmune, antibody against neuromuscular junction and impaired neurotransmission. First is myasthenia gravis. 80% antibody against acetylcholine receptor. 15% antibody against muscle muscle specific kinase protein second lumbar eaten myasthenic syndrome antibody against presynaptic voltage sensitive calcium channel vc the second volley of the chapit is congenital myasthenic syndrome they are not autoimmune immunosuppressive drug will not work Defective gene of neuromuscular junction by mutation in presynaptic, synaptic, or postsynaptic protein defect. The third mechanism is toxic mediated neuromuscular junction disorder or drug. Clostridium botulinum anaerobic gram-positive bacteria, tubocuradine, hunting first station. Drug include amino aminoglycoside gentamicine, quinidine, beta blocker, procainamide, and tetracycline. Neuromuscular junction, three types of calcium channel, voltage sensitive calcium channel, acetyl sodium channel type nicotinic receptor, voltage sensitive sodium channel, and muscle specific kinase, voltage sensitive calcium channel, voltage sensitive sodium channel, acetyl sodium channel, and muscle-specific kinase. Action potential depolarization followed by repolarization. Depolarization is produced by influx of sodium that sensitive calcium channel. Penetration of calcium, which act in acetylcholine that transform into syntaxin. This lead to synatobrevin and synatopsin are employed in exocytose of acetylcholine. Acetylcholine act an acetyl sodium channel leading to the penetration of sodium which demediate the end plate potential that act in voltage sensitive sodium channel. The release of acetylcholine is maintained as long as there is muscle contraction. To relax the muscle, acetylcholine must be removed from space. This is the role of acetylcholine esterase. Neuromuscular junction disorder include autoimmune, congenital myasthenia syndrome, toxin mediated, and drug side effect. Autoimmune, myasthenia gravis, lumbar etan. Myasthenia gravis, 80% antibody against acetylcholine receptor, and 15% antibody against mask protein. Lumbar etan myasthenia, antibody against Presynaptic voltage sensitive calcium channel VSCC. Congenital myasthenia, 
It's not autoimmune. Immunodepression drug will not work. Defective gene of neuromuscular junction. Mutation could be presynaptic, synaptic, or postsynaptic. Toxin mediated. Clostridium botulinum. Anaerobic gram positive bacteria. And tubocularine. Anti infestation. Drug side effects aminoglycoside gentamicine, quinidine, beta blocker, procainamide, and tetracycline. Thank you for watching this episode of, three uh, of Medicine in 3 Minutes. Would you like to click the button like, to subscribe? Your comments are very welcome. Thank you.